Hey guys, what's up? This is Brian J's Nerd Talk, and I just saw the official trailer of Star Wars Acolyte. It has basically everything that was leaked uh, last year at Star Wars Celebration, and uh, it looks pretty good. The visuals look great. I mean, it's cool to see the Jedis at the top of the heap in the High Republic. Um, at the top of their powers, there's a lot of Jedis with a lot of lightsabers, and that's really cool, but um, it is very much like Disney Star Wars, and I do love Disney Star Wars as much as I love older Star Wars. I'm not a big fan of the prequels. I, I did love, I do like Revenge of the Sith a lot. I didn't really enjoy Phantom Menace or Attack of the Clones. I like better on a, on a repeat viewing or recent viewing or whatever. But, um, of all the George Lucas era Star Wars, what I loved the most was the original trilogy and Clone Wars. And, um, I haven't read all the EU books. The book that I read was the first Darth Bane book in their Darth Bane trilogy. And I liked it a lot. Uh, I want to get back into that and finish that. I'm going to get started on the uh, Heir to the Empire. But I read mostly, like, canon books, you know, and I still haven't fully read all the uh, High Republic books. But, um, yeah, this is very much a Disney Star Wars, at least in the trailer. It's very female-led. There's lots of women, not a lot of men. Oh, there's this whole sequence with the younglings and the children and stuff like that. And it's it looks like it's mostly girls in the class. It's just, it's like two boys in the class. So it's like, oh, we don't, we don't you know, get men anymore and... Star Wars, you know, and the Jedis are mostly women, you know, in the High Republic, I guess. Uh, you know, the Jedis fell apart where there were less women, right? You know, I guess that's the message. Like, thank you, thank you, uh, Disney, for that message against George Lucas. But, um, but hey, it's George Lucas's money. He still makes a lot of money. Uh, yeah, huge shareholder. But uh, I am looking forward to it. Even though the showrunner is questionable, yeah, she was Harvey Weinstein's assistant. That wouldn't make her guilty of her like knowing what he was doing and letting him get away with it. Like some people are saying on Twitter and social media, you know, and or X, you know, and it's fine. But um, I, I did, I do love uh, the show she did with Natasha Lyonne. Uh, forgot the name of it. Uh, it's a Russian Doll. I love the first season to that show. The first season was great. I haven't watched season two yet, um, but the first season was really, really great. And uh, she finished that show, I think. Uh, she only did it in two seasons, I think. Um, I don't know if it got canceled or she just kind of ended it there. But, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> as a writer, she did a good job with Russian Doll. That doesn't mean she's right to do Star Wars. I don't know. But so far, the trailer looks good. The fight choreography looks better than Ahsoka. And because Ahsoka fight choreography kind of fell apart, and especially in the last two episodes. Um, but yeah, I, uh, yeah, it looks good. It looks good. I like it. Even though it has a, a lot to, if you hate Disney Star Wars, there's nothing in this trailer that makes you love Disney Star Wars. You know, if you already hate Disney Star Wars and you just hate that there's a lot of women being represented in Star Wars these days, there's nothing about that trailer that will make you, that will change your mind. Um, I personally don't really care. I, I did like Ahsoka a lot, even though the female characters are acting like men with them crossing their arms and being super serious with a serious face. It's like, yeah, like Hollywood's going to pretend to hate men, but take all the things that make men awesome and give it to women, you know, but eh, I, I liked Ahsoka. I loved episode five of that season. Episode five was fucking great. It was like a live action Clone Wars. It was beautiful. Oh, I... I could watch that episode, like, a lot. A lot. I could watch that episode a lot. But, uh, yeah, so this trailer, on a scale of 1 to 10, as a fan of Disney Star Wars and Star Wars in general, I would give this trailer an 8 out of 10. Um, uh, I, if, if you hate Disney Star Wars, uh, you're, you're probably going to hate this trailer. If you love Star Wars and Disney Star Wars, you're probably going to love this trailer. So, you know. And I'm going to read the High Republic books uh, as soon as possible, as soon as I get done with the, with the, as soon as I get done with this book, this big boy right here, Death's End, uh, the Three Body Problem Trilogy by Xi Jin Yu, Xi Jin Liu. Once I get done with that third book, I will get started on Star Wars as soon as possible. So anyway, this is Brian J's Nerd Talk. That's my thoughts on the Acolyte trailer. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.